This is segment one, which shows the two-disc brushless generator running at 55 revolutions per second. The voltage from the pickup coil mounted on top is 4 volts peak to peak, as shown on the oscilloscope. The AC drive motor is a fan motor from an old microwave oven. It will be shown that a one-disc system will also generate voltage, but at a lesser value, but still significant. This second segment shows the disassembly of the disc magnets. Note the brass wrench, which is necessary for safety since the magnet discs are dangerously strong in their fields. The discs are series aiding and difficult to separate. Note also the wooden clamp in the background. This third segment is also run at 55 revolutions per second and is for a one disc system. The voltage on the oscilloscope is now at 3 volts peak to peak, which is 1 volt peak to peak less than for the two disc system, but still significant. If the magnets were surrounded by coils, as in ordinary motor or generator, and a full wave bridge rectifier system on each coil was paralleled or series together, the output could be useful, even with just one disc. The Excelsior! This is a dynamic load test. First we'll short out the Faraday disc coil. You can see by the counter, no discernible change on the revol revolutions per second. This is equivalent to 50 hertz. Next, we'll put a dynamic load on the DC generator, which is set up to consume the same amount of power. And we can see the counter change dramatically. Take the load off. That's about 5% change change will become much more evident as we enable the coil to pick up more power. That would uh, reflect a much bigger load if on the conventional generator when we put the same amount of load on it. That completes the equivalent load test. And this constitutes the proof that the Faraday generator brushless pickup system is much more efficient than a conventional generator running at the same power. End of test. This test proved that the Faraday brushless generator is far superior to conventional generators with brushes and wires that move 90 degrees to the magnetic flux lines. This energy source has no byproducts and it induces its energy from the same source that began on the universe in the Big Bang. It can change our world for the better and take humans to the stars, God willing.